Hello, and welcome to How a Strong Club Culture Leads to Club Growth. My name is Leslie Laforty, and I have been a proud member of World Toaster since 2018, the District Logistics Manager since 2021, and part of the Walt Disney World culture since 1994. Over those 30 some years, about 10 years have had some form of training and development. I like to start out these presentations with my three Ps, the purpose, the process, and the payoff. My purpose today is to be able to define what club culture is, and we're gonna do that by redefining what moments of truth is based on club culture. My hope is that by the end of this little chat, you will see the value of the Moments of Truth survey in order to enhance your club culture. Gary V or Gary Vanyerchuk, a highly regarded motivational speaker and entrepreneur, states that company culture is the backbone of any successful organization. And if you look at companies like Disney or Apple, you know that they have a strong company culture based on the reputations that they hold. They are known for their great customer service and their dedication to their employees. Harvard Business Review does a great job analyzing how Apple's mission has guided their ways of working that creates a strong company culture. Think about that for your own club. Now, wait a minute, Leslie, you're asking me to look at my club like a business? Absolutely. If you think about it, a club is a nonprofit organization that has members, goals, and leaders, right? Well, a business is usually a for-profit organization that has employees, goals, and leaders. No matter if a business is profit or nonprofit, they should evaluate how they're doing among its employees. At Disney every year, we have an employee survey that asks us about how our leaders, from our immediate leaders all the way to the top, are doing. It also asks us about our workplace culture and whether or not it's benefiting us. Not only does every club culture be different, but they have a unique reason to exist. Maybe your club is a common interest club, such as Find Your Funny, which focuses on humor and speaking. Or maybe your corporate club like World Toasters focus on employee growth. Culture defines processes and purpose and how things are handled among club members. It fosters communication, leadership skills, and self-confidence. Now, there are many ways that a club can maintain and create a strong club culture. These can be broken down in really into three main categories, communication, consistency, and cultivation. So for communication, do potential members know how to find you? Is the club listed in Free Toast Toast or Toastmasters International? Do they have a social media presence? Are you keeping current members up to date with happenings in the area, division, and district? Consistency. Are club meetings at the same time every week, every month, or whenever you're planning on meeting? Are members comfortable giving feedback to each other outside of speeches? Are members even showing up to meetings? And when they are showing up to meetings, are they having fun? And let's talk about cultivation. Are club officers helping members grow? Are they encouraging pathway speeches? Are they asking members to step up into officer roles? One of the main missions of clubs is to foster self-confidence and growth. So how is your club helping you grow? These are the types of questions that a club needs to ask themselves to define their club culture. For some Toastmasters, this might sound familiar. You might be thinking, hmm, that sounds like moments of truth. And for that, you'd be correct. So what exactly is moments of truth? In this case, it is a club self-evaluation. When moments of truth is mentioned at a meeting, some find it a chore that needs to be done for the good of the club. Well, put that out of your head. Let's flip that script. If we are looking at the club as a business who needs to recruit members and retain current ones, wouldn't you consider this an employee survey? We want to know how the business is doing to keep it running. Sometimes the Moments of Truth survey will bring out the politics in a club. Now, every club is going to have politics. 
personalities are going to clash. Differences are going to lead to disagreements. Leaders are going to have different views on how a club should be run. And every leader change can have turmoil. But it doesn't have to be that way. The Moments of Truth survey reminds the club of what their club culture is and keeps them on track to their missions. If everyone participates, then you'll receive a well-rounded picture of how the club is doing. And culture isn't all about business either. It's about fellowship, camaraderie, and togetherness. When you look at your club culture, along with the Moments of Truth, do you socialize with each other? Does your club get together outside of meetings? This is also part of a strong club culture. Of course, not everyone is gonna participate. However, having a solid culture allows everyone to be as involved as they choose to be. It's just comforting to know that the club is there to support you no matter what you choose to do. In summary, if you think about your club culture as a way of working or a way to do things, and the moments of truth is more of an employee survey, it may not seem like such a chore to do. We all have things that we don't want to do in our clubs, but if we reframe them in a different light, it just might work to our benefit. So my challenge to you is this. Conduct a Moments of Truth survey. Do it twice. That way you can compare notes and see how it can improve your club culture. I want to thank you for your time today. My information is in the QR code, and I've left the links of the organizations that I've referenced. Also, if you would like more information about Moments of Truth, please go to ToastmastersD84.org. Thank you.